Welcome to the Transfusion Medicine Data Portal support video series. These videos have been developed to support British Columbia's transfusion medicine staff and stakeholders in accessing and analyzing their transfusion medicine data from BC's Central Transfusion Registry. This video reviews the caveats for each module and the data considerations information provided with the Transfusion Medicine Data Portal. Once you are logged in, each module of the Transfusion Medicine Data Portal includes a red block highlighting the data considerations text in the upper right corner of the page. This block contains important information to consider when viewing each module, and they each contain a link to the overarching data considerations document. The Data Considerations link takes you to the PBCO website, Support Documentation, and a thumbnail of the current considerations. Click on the image to enlarge the document. This document describes the overall data state for the full Transfusion Medicine Data Portal, including the earliest data date in the portal, selected data completeness checks, general considerations such as the addition of new product codes to the portal data, and disposition considerations such as notes about how some facilities report shipped products or discarded products. This document does not change often, only once or twice a year generally, but contains important considerations if you plan to use the data portal for detailed analysis. The remaining information in the data considerations block relates to more transient caveats. Each data consideration block provides information about the current state of the data. For example, in this test dashboard, data is available through May 31, 2009. This is reflected in the various widget date ranges. If any additional information is necessary to interpret the data, it will be provided here. For example, if One Health Authority's data is not available, the data portal may be updated, noting that the One Health Authority is updated through a different date range. This will impact provincial reports and cubes, but not the dashboard. In the Reports tab, CTR utilization data is available through May 31, 2009. Transfusion Transmitted Injuries Surveillance System, or TIS, data is available through March 31, 2009. TIS data is prepared and available on a different schedule in line with the reporting requirements to the Public Health Agency of Canada, or PHAC. Transfusion reactions in these reports may be uploaded past this uh, updated date, but the data is not considered complete until PHAC reporting is done. Full descriptions of the reporting dates are outlined in the Frequently Asked Questions Guide. The Data Considerations on the Cube tab also provide the date that data is available through. Each of these dates is managed separately. It is unlikely, although possible, that the dates may be different in each tab. Before running or analyzing any data, Always check the data dates and any special considerations to be sure you are viewing the data that you expect. For more information about the data considerations, view the Frequently Asked Questions document, the Data Considerations document, and see sections 6, 7, and 8 of the Transfusion Medicine Data Portal Manual. Visit the PBCO website for any additional information or email the data portal to obtain user access forms, request training, or share any considerations and feedback. Up next, Video 4, The Dashboard.